on this week's episode, Mad Titans and Toys. The Mad Titan is dead, and my pick of the week, Thanos number one. Thanos has been executed by the galaxy's most deadly assassin, his own daughter, Gamora. But before this deadly conclusion, what was life for Thanos and Gamora like? What set Gamora aside in Thanos' eyes, not only to survive, but to be adopted? This is a moment we've never specifically seen in any comic book, so this is an exciting addition to the full backstory. The author, Tini Howard, compares it to something like True Grit or the dynamic between The Hound and Arya Stark. The interior art is from Ariel Olivetti, and there's some really sweet looking variants for the Thanos collectors. This is a six part miniseries, add this to your pull list right now. And there's always something for every reader on the stands. For sci-fi fantasy fans, be sure to check out Ascender Number 1. This is a sequel to the previous image series, Descender, reuniting the original creative team. A decade has passed and magic has replaced machinery. The original character's daughter now roams the fantastical wild while pursued by the ominous vampire witch that rules the planet. This will be an epic, unforgettable quest from two of the industry's best. Star Wars fans should be excited for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Number 1 of 5. In what is probably an industry first, this is a canon tie-in for the upcoming Star Wars Galaxy's Edge theme park. This miniseries will introduce the Black Spire Outpost, an Outer Rim Smuggler's Hangout, and the infamous Doc Ondar. He has a mission for Han and Chewie to save the Black Spire Outpost from the clutches of the First Order. And join a classic character in a new miniseries from an Eisner Award winning creative team with Dick Tracy Forever number 1 of 4. The stalwart gumshoe has always strived for law and order in a world filled with outlandish crimes and absurd villains. Join him now on a startling new case through time and space. Dick Tracy will uphold the letter of the law in any era or incarnation. All these books, Jewett's Pick of the Week, and so much more are always released on Wednesdays. The Inner Geek Weekly is filmed on location at the Inner Geek Lexington location. Other locations, stock, and availability may vary. Let's open up the toy box. Today we're talking Kenner with some sweet Star Wars toys. I'm going to start out with a personal starship from everyone's favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett's Slave One. Prepare to receive cargo. Kenner's Slave One comes with frozen Han Solo. Is Han Solo completely frozen Stormtrooper? Yes, Boba Fett. Action figures each sold separately. Place them in the prisoner retention unit. Slave One has a rear loading ramp. Prepare for takeoff. Check. Movable cannons and gravity operated wings that trigger lock. Oh, the Jabba! Slave One with Frozen Han Solo from Kenner's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. This was originally released in 1981 and it's a highly sought after vintage toy. It has a little bit of playwear, but it's in great shape and it has the Han Solo and Carbonite. If you need one for your collection, get a hold of me quick. We also have a great Star Wars playset. It's the Ewok Village from Return of the Jedi. The Force is back. The Rebels won't tire till they see the last of the Empire. And Kenner's there with Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. It's Ewok Village. I must save my friends. Then that's set. Dear me. It's C-3PO, Lovray, and Ewok Village playset. Action figures, each sold separately. You have to put it together. Your throne, O Golden King, will celebrate with special stew. A barbecue. No celebration for me until my friends are free. Ewok Village playset from Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Action figures sold separately from Kenner. Now, back to our program. This is also complete with all its parts and accessories, which is always hard to find. An interesting fact about this playset was it was reused for the Robin Hood movie in the 90s. It doesn't really have anything to do with the one we have in the store, but it is kind of interesting. This is just a couple of the classic Kenner Star Wars items we have in the store right now. If you're a fan of any Star Wars toys, come in and check them out. Thanks for watching, remember to like this video, and I'll see you on Wednesday.
actually like, got an Ewok village when I was a little kid at a yard sale and then I found that out and I was looking at the picture and I was like, that's just the Ewok village. <laughs> so I just went downstairs and got the Ewok village for my Robin Hood figures. Yeah. And I just like took some paint, just painted over it. My mom was like, what are you doing? And I was like, this is going to be Sherwood Forest. And she was like, that's really creative. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'm real smart.